All right, so to start this video out, I've got a bunch of different examples of different types of mouths that I can go and draw and the corresponding letters that they could use for their matching vizimes. So if you kind of think about it, this first drawing right here where there's kind of a happy mouth with the teeth showing up and the tongue right there at the bottom, that's essentially going to be some kind of a vizime that I could use anytime I'm going to use the letter, I believe, A, E, and I. So let's just go ahead and kind of draw that out. Sorry, I'm in a Cintiq right now and I'm using Splash Top, so it doesn't really draw so well. There's a little bit of a lag. Okay, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna use the cutter tool. Just swipe and get rid of those things. I'm gonna go back to the selection tool. I'm gonna select this part and that part of the mouth and I wanna right click it and what I wanna do is to arrange and bring them all the way to the front. All right, paint bucket time, go get the white, go get the red and then go get some kind of a background color for the inside of the mouth. Okay, so that's essentially it. What I've done is I've created my first sub. It's not pretty, but it will get the job done just for what I'm trying to do. And let's put this into a time lapse right now and I'll go build all of the rest of these. All right, so this is gonna be played at eight times the normal speed. Would be nice to be able to draw this quickly, but oh well. And I think it's important to note a couple things. So I have some kind of a chart that I found online. There are hundreds and hundreds of them. I would really recommend that you just look for one that you think you can draw and you think that matches the style of the character that you have. And then after that happens, uh, just go start building. Um, but the main idea is you wanna try to speed up your process and you wanna make your life a little bit easier. Now, let's notice a couple of things that I'm doing. Um, I like using some of the predetermined shapes. I like to use some of the line tools. Um, sometimes I use a polyline tool as well and I use the paint bucket. Also, underneath the black move tool, so that's the, the black arrow, uh, if you click and hold that down, there's this little paper airplane looking thing that's called the cutter. Um, what I'm using is, is I'm doing these big gestural swipes and then I use the cutter tool to slice off those other ends. And it's a really handy type of thing to do for a basic character. This might not, you know, this character might not match the style of what you're looking for, but if you don't mind doing something super basic and simple, you can totally use the cutter tool. One last thing to consider when using this technique with the cutter tool, you wanna make sure that when you draw the line work, you wanna choose a line that's thick enough where it's not gonna make the teeth too big or it's not gonna make the tongue too big. If you use a thick line and then you go fill, the actual tongue might be a little too big, so just be aware of that. All right, um, we're just about done in a moment, so let's move on. All right, so we're back right now, and what I've done is I've finished up drawing all of these different subs. So you can kind of see if you scrub through the animation, I'm gonna just hit the period and the comma key to go backwards and forwards to be able to go and scroll through all of the different examples that I have. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna select all of these except for the first one, let me delete them. I'm gonna go in F5 all the way to the end of my animation. And there we go, there's my F5. So I'm pretty much all set. Now what's nice is I can go back to the beginning and I can just scrub through and choose any one of these different faces um, or these different mouths and that could be my default. It doesn't really matter. Um, I haven't really drawn a default, but we'll, we'll get to that a little bit later. Let's just use this as my standard or my default face. Now, it would be pretty nice to be able to, to use different functionality to get these different things to show up. So I just wanna show you where you can find your subs. Okay, number one, 
you can find the parameters inside your layers menu. So we're down here right at the bottom. And if I go and if I hover over that number six, um, my cursor becomes an arrow. So I can, I can drag to the left or to the right. So click, hold and drag. And then what I can do is I could go and change through my different subs, um, which is pretty helpful. Now, to be honest, I just use the bracket key because I could just do this very, very quickly and just find the right one. But sometimes it just makes more sense to be able to use those parameters or um, I guess to use uh, something else, which is called the library. So let me show you the next place to find all of your subs. If you hover over here next to your tool properties and go to the library, you could see that you've got all of your different subs and you can click and you can change to the specific one you want. You could also grab this little gray box and slide it, click drag and slide it to the left and to the right, which is really helpful. You can also go in right here and you can just click click in that box and then you just type in a number and press enter and it's gonna jump to that one. Now, that number is eight and I think this is the next logical step. Let's move forward and let me show you something else. It doesn't make sense to have each of these numbered as a specific mouth. It'd be kind of cool to be able to choose the actual letters that are used so I can go and animate something. And so I know which letter for this Vizim will correspond to the, to the phoneme, which is the sound of that, okay? So here we go. There is a menu called the Drawing Substitutions menu. So let's go and click that. And then let me get in a little bit of additional space. Notice we've got all of these different mouths that I've drawn. And these mouths, they correspond to the ones that I found online. I found these and studied them. And now what I need to do is I need to rename each of them with the matching letters. So in order to do that, you wanna click this little hamburger that's right over here. And this is a drop down menu that will take you to the edit mode. When you go to the edit mode, everything changes to be red. And if you want to, you could delete a drawing sub or you could rename it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rename each of these subs with the corresponding letters. So I'm gonna type in A, E, I, and I'm gonna press it, okay. This next one, which is pretty much most of my consonants, so C, D, G, K. In fact, I think I'm not gonna even I'm not even gonna use the commas. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna make them as capital letters. C, D, G, K, N, S, T, X, Y, Z. I'm gonna click OK. So on and so forth. So let me just go ahead and put this on time lapse as well. And then we can just pretty much end this video. And in the next video, the big idea with what we're trying to do is we're gonna take all of this stuff and we're gonna match it to some audio and then once we match it to the audio, we're gonna spell out the Vizims properly, and then we are good to go. All right guys, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.